2, 3, 4, and the fingertips. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, and then you go through, and then there's 16 times 5 is 8. So, 18. Okay. Today's theme <laughs> is holidays. Is it holidays? Yes, it's holidays. It's holidays! Holidays! Hello! This is the Tangent Show. Podcast! For the love of God is the Tangent Podcast! I just say it because that's what I remember saying last time. <laughs> <laughs> we should have but to But you don't that remember his shouts. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Hello! This is the Tangent Podcast. Today's theme is holidays from June destinations to volcanoes. I'm James. I'm Daniel. I am an entity known as Michael. (laughs) (laughs) Michael, what's on the itinerary today? We have several things on the itinerary, James. Okay, (laughs) that's good. First thing on the itinerary. What is your dream destination and why? Cat. For a holiday. For a holiday. Um, Denmark, because I have good news about Denmark. I think it was Denmark. It was a Scandinavian country. <laughs> First country to have a solar roadway! Yeah. We did it, guys! <laughs> we did it! Took bloody long enough. It's actually a cycle path. <laughs> <laughs> but we did it! Solar Close roadway. Close enough, right? Solar frickin' roadway. Not solar frickin' roadways. Solar road or something. Some other company. Solar cycle roads. Solar cycle road. But we did it. I'm going there to cycle on their solar road. But aren't you scared of bikes? No. After the tree I, incident. <laughs> I taught my sister to ride a bike. Sister? What's sister. a sister? I, I taught her to say words as well. She's a little. <laughs> uh, Our you? Runs in the family. <laughs> no, I can ride a bike very well. I can you speak very well? Less. Actually, I can probably write, speak better than I can ride a bike. But, <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, then you don't have much hope for the bike. <laughs> oh. uh, what's your destination? Um, mine is probably, like, Tahiti or a nice tropical beach. Tahiti. Yeah. Tahiti. Bahama, come on, pretty mama. The tequila. And, and the rest of the Mazabiqua. I don't know the rest. Michael! <laughs> yes! I'm also going to go with Scandinavian country, but my choice is Sweden! Because I love Sweden. It's just Sweden, you know? It's they have an ABBA museum. An ABBA museum? An ABBA museum. Was it Sweden that hosted Eurovision this year? Mm, maybe. But. I have no idea if it was Sweden that hosted it this year. It was somewhere. A place. That... <laughs> which then leads me on to the next question, which is, where would you absolutely not want to go? Hell. Well, Tahiti, because uh, Dan, Dan <laughs> would be... <laughs> <laughs> no, as a holiday destination. Um, I don't know that I, I could be... Well, I want to say North Korea, <laughs> because <laughs> I don't know many flights. No, that'd that be awesome. Like... Because, you know, you can make friends with Kim and, you know... What, Kim Jong-un? Yeah, oh, not Kim Kardashian. <laughs> no, I'm uh, probably getting confused. Yeah, yeah but you'd, you'd be best buds with Kim and, you know, he's a, he's a superhero, isn't he? Kimmy. Oh, Kimmy, okay. yeah. I don't know if we can talk about this. No, we can't, probably. <laughs> uh, I'd hate to go to, like, one of those party destination zones. Like Spain. Malaga, Mallorca, and other parts of I've been Greece to Mallorca. It's lovely. No, 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 but we're, during prime time, when all the people who go people. just to party get drunk and I have sex a, with prostitutes. I went That's on me. a tour bus. I, I was too young to have sex with prostitutes. Um, <laughs> You're never too young to have sex with <laughs> prostitutes, baby. I can't speak! <laughs> um, we yeah, know. I went on a tour bus, and my only recollection of that <laughs> journey was sitting opposite a German child who was picking their nose for the whole thing. <laughs> it was horrendous. I mean, glorious. Please go to Mallorca. No, it's just, I wouldn't want to go to somewhere where there are loads and loads of drunk, barely legal teenagers. You know? I do know. 
I, I know that feeling. I'd like to visit... I go to school every day. I, I know that Yeah, feeling. I can't stand people in my peer group. <laughs> <laughs> On a um, general premise that they're dislikable people. Hence, go to Liechtenstein. I'd love to go to Germany. <laughs> I said that. Stein. I said that purposely to piss you off. You know that, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my my geography self was screwed. Um, I literally said that just to irritate you. No other reason. No, no, no other. Okay, for the purposes okay. of <laughs> audio. <laughs> Why, Daniel, Daniel? Daniel, where is your hand currently? A <laughs> Pringles. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it in a Pringles tube, Daniel? I got hungry and now my hand's stuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's like babysitting. <laughs> ah, we're meant to be so professional. Uh, and I can't mind. talk and Daniel can't put his hand in <laughs> small spaces. I swear I would children. <laughs> <laughs> and after all of that, I didn't even get a Pringle. Oh, <laughs> that's the saddest. Sh shall we move on? Move on, move on. <laughs> What's your favourite seasonal holiday? Ooh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Are we talking like <laughs> Easter and Hanukkah? Easter, and Hanukkah, Christmas. Mass. Mass. That holiday? No, 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 it's What's right. the one where they starve themselves? Ramadan. Fast. Fast. Ramadan. Thing. Ramadan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, Sorry, I get confused. Um, Mine is either Christmas or Easter, mainly Christian holidays, even though I'm an atheist because my parents get me either chocolate or presents. They don't do the presents. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, mine's my birthday, which happens to be Christmas. It's weird, that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. You were and, born in June. I'm 2014 years old. It's just, oh, the coincidences pile up. He was oh, born in AD 36. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, it's Christmas anyway, because... <laughs> presents! Woo! Mine's Guy Fawkes Night. Really? <laughs> yeah, I love Over it. Christmas. Guy Fawkes Night over Christmas. Oh, Fireworks okay. over Christmas any day. Or New Year. I do like New Year. New Year's yeah, New Year's. It's New Year's not really cool. a... Oh, it is. Yes, it is. Seasonal. <laughs> it is seasonal. seasonal. Wow, I'm well, bad yeah. at life. <laughs> Although, last year, there was a uh, firework display which was meant to be about... Oh, yes, I remember six that. Six minutes long, mm. and it went on for, I think, 11 seconds, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, because all the fireworks <laughs> went up at once. <laughs> oh, it was, it was amazing. hysterical. <laughs> For a brief moment, the sky was fire. Okay. Next thing on the itinerary, the best holiday you've ever been on. Ooh. Um, well, coming from a lower middle class family, I haven't been on many holidays. Well, I, I come no. from a lower middle class family. <laughs> no, I, I went to Dorset. Dorset is a beautiful place. <laughs> Dorset is nice. Flipping love Dorset. Mm. <laughs> Dorset. <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah. My grandma lives in. <laughs> no, she lives in Dorking. Never and mind. she's a. <laughs> <laughs> Dorking. Well, yeah. you guys know me and my upper class family. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. The of greatest course. holiday that we've oh, had. Oh, this is how you know Kim. Yeah, yeah this is how I know Kim, yeah. yeah. We, we took our aeroplane across <laughs> to North Korea, <laughs> oh, right. and there was a bit of miscommunication. I thought we were all going to die and get blown up, but, you know, it's just. Uh... Daniel, oh, yeah, where yeah, did yeah. you? Where was your thingy holiday? What? Where, what? What's your best holiday? Past. Um, I probably um, what is in a way a holiday like to another place? Yeah, yeah, to another place, yeah, not as, where we live. As in, in a holiday, location. as in well, a holiday is time in, elsewhere. Sorry, I thought you meant like a break from school. Uh, that sort uh, of holiday. No, not that sort of holiday. Oh, okay. Like you go somewhere. Like you going somewhere. Or something. Okay, I went to Portugal when I was younger. Everyone came back ill. That wasn't okay. <laughs> so not good. that one. Probably not that one. I've been... Well, that then leads into the next thing on the itinerary, oh, which yeah. is are the you know yeah. when we get <laughs> to this one. one. Should yeah. I ask this one first, really? Prob <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Disneyland because you know. <gasps> oh wait, best one. Sorry, I thought yeah. we we're on the second bit. <laughs> no, yeah. best one. <laughs> Disneyland's pretty good. It is. Yeah. You've been to Disneyland. I've been to Disneyland. Yeah, everyone's been to Disneyland. Spent a lot. Of time Have you been to Disneyland? Yeah. yeah. Paris. Yeah, yeah. Paris. Okay. <laughs> we don't have enough money to go to Florida. <laughs> well, I just get that world. 
I think my best holiday is probably either going to be Belgium. Ooh, Belgium. Ooh, Belgium. <laughs> yeah, Belgium. <laughs> or York. Because, you know, York's just a magnificent place. I thought you were going to say magnetic. Magnetic. That's why we loved it. No, no, it's just a really nice place to go. The um, Tangent Show, sponsored by York. <laughs> <laughs> the York Minster. What's, what's the York slogan? Like... The place, um, no, I won't say the place we live. We have a bad slogan. We do have a bad <laughs> slogan. It's terrible. <laughs> York slogan should probably be like, uh, the most historical death out of anywhere in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> which is true. <laughs> which, which is true. <laughs> they have had uh, quite a lot of deaths. York. York. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Which then leads into the next point. What's the, what's the worst holiday you've been... To or had, uh, what? Let me rephrase that. <laughs> What's the worst holiday you've had? I've made my house, my hands into a bunker, though. <laughs> What's the worst <laughs> holiday you've had? <laughs> Elderly couple is now moving into Daniel's house. <laughs> and house. Yay! <laughs> look, look at them go. Oh. Where's well, the second lady? There's, hey, there's... The second lady? <laughs> I don't know, there might be an elderly lesbian couple. What's, anyway. what's wrong with you, Daniel? No, an elderly lesbian couple yeah, what, who wants to live in a bungalow. Bacon didn't specify, I'm sorry. Well, worst well. holiday ever. I don't know, I don't, I've never had a bad holiday. Mine was either when I went to Portugal and everyone came back ill and sunburnt and ill. <laughs> or... Uh, the lot, probably maybe one of the last holidays I had. I was just I went up with my family to Scarborough in our caravan because you know for oh, our right, caravan. Which, okay, I and, just went in an aeroplane. No, went no. <laughs> I went up in this device. For no, lift. no. Um, <laughs> and it, I was just bored because we were there for like two weeks. I actually came wow. home early with my sisters. My mum and dad were looking at trains to send me and my brother back on, but it cost way too much. First world problems, hey? Yeah, yeah, first world problems. Your holidays yeah. are just too boring. Mm. <laughs> Michael. Yes. What was your worst holiday? My worst holiday, you asked? Yes. I can't remember exactly where we went. I think it was Cornwall. Hmm. I mean, I liked going to Cornwall because we'd been there twice, and the second time was fine. But the first time we went, it was with my elderly grandparents, who did nothing but complain the whole time. Yep, that's they For sound English. A week, yeah. it's the they complained, <laughs> and I was just fed up of their complaints, <laughs> and it was just frustrating and irritating. But the second time we went, it was lovely. It was lovely. <laughs> but the first time, you yeah. know, the holidays time to relax, time to be free with yourself and your mind. Well, not time to uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, but we're English, so... Yeah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. Hmm. Okay. We might be Dutch. It's possible. Yeah. I mean, we do like Scandinavia. Well, you guys <laughs> do. I'm, I'm more of a heaty person. You're on the bench. I'm on the bench, yeah. On the fence. Yeah. Um, what's yeah. on the itinerary? <laughs> the next thing on the itinerary is... Itinerary. What's the funniest thing that's ever happened whilst you've been on holiday or abroad? Did I tell the German story? <laughs> Because, uh, that's... <laughs> Funny things don't happen. It's just like everyone's so relaxed. It's like, oh my god, we're not working, and no one has time to have fun. Well, I it's have just two stories in mind. Okay, mm -hmm. one of them was in Belgium. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> and the other one was coming back from York. <laughs> Do you want to tell the Belgium story, Daniel? Uh, was, because that, that was, is a funny story. I remember yeah. that also. That was a story. Okay. He weren't even there. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just, just some background. Um, we, me and Michael went away with the school to Belgium for a history trip. And unfortunately, James didn't come, but everyone seems to remember him being there. <laughs> All the time! <laughs> it's the same with Sail France. People are like, oh, you remember Sail France, James? Oh, like, yeah, well, I know. Did we go I on Sail France? I never went to Sail France. No, I went on Sail France. Uh, like, hey, James, remember Sail France in Belgium? Good times. Like, <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Poor, poor baby. <laughs> yeah. Poor James. Well, uh, yes. Yes. Sorry. Yeah, so I there, there were a bunch of double beds all around. There was 13 guys all in a room. Make whatever jokes you want about that. We don't care. It but was completely platonic, mostly. Mostly. <laughs> Almost. Apart from that one night. Apart from the night the lights went out. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so we set the scene. <laughs> so I, I had a bunk in a corner, like a top bunk in the corner, so it was far away from like anyone. It, this was half eleven at night as well, and the and lights were switched there, off. There was sort of like a giant kind of archway halfway yeah. in the room. Yeah, which separated three of us from eight the so other eight. Yeah. There used to be two rooms and they knocked yeah. three. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. it separated three from eight. Okay. Yeah. And uh, the, the guy, the, uh, his name is the Matt. Guy. He's quite short as well. He is pretty <laughs> short. And, he used to be uh, hair high, but he's not even yet. Yeah, and, and he, went, he came over with his phone because somebody wanted to read and he had the only like phone with a light. Which he could be bothered, you know, who could be bothered to actually get their phone out? Yeah, and uh, he, he was walking back. I got down from my bed without him noticing, and was crouching behind the the uh, arch. And he, he walked back. This was half eleven at night, and everyone the lights was, were off. As the well. lights were off. Everyone was, you know, just about to go to bed. <laughs> and uh, as he got in front of me, I rugby tackled him. <laughs> And the sound that he made, I, I'll never forget it. It was the sound that only someone in absolute terror could make. Oh. <laughs> Far away in Blighty. I it heard just, the middle of the night. <laughs> it was just the most amazing thing. It was hilarious. We were up for another half an hour laughing at it. <laughs> That's not even an understatement. <laughs> Oh. It was about midnight before everyone actually stopped laughing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. but it was. Uh, it, oh, it gave God. him a huge bruise because he landed on someone else's bed. But you know, <laughs> worth it. Well worth. Worth it. it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, oh. that, that was uh, the Belgium story. What about the York story, Michael? The York story. York. That uh, we were travelling back from York when there was a road delay. Hang on, can I just clarify? Is this the York story or the Orc story? York. Oh, or okay. the Yorky story. York, as in Richard. Get no. no. <laughs> Richard <laughs> of York gave battle in, in vain because someone had some weird affiliation with Seven. <laughs> well, wasn't happy with just purple. They had to go violet and indigo. Indigo. Viole. Uh, anyway, indigo. so we were essentially stuck on this road for about two hours, which was really irritating. Everyone well, was getting you were in frustrated. A car. We were in a car. Okay. And then we were finally moving forwards, and then this couple. We assume with a baby. We hope it was with a baby. They were in a car as well. They were in a car okay. as well. Pull in front of us. And then we're stuck behind them for an hour. And <laughs> it's not worth it, Daniel. It's not worth it, no. And then we, we can just see them right through all the windows. Yeah. And then some of the weirdest things <laughs> I've ever seen started happening. The guy and the girl switched seats because he was driving whilst in the yeah. middle of traffic. But they didn't go outside the car. He <laughs> crawled over her <laughs> and she crawled under him. Okay. <laughs> we call them the German couple because they had a German number plate. All oh, right. And then he got out what I can only describe it as a large version of a woodwind instrument. It's a recorder. A large oh, version man. of a recorder. Okay. A vuvuzela. No. Oh. Because he started playing it with his nose. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. and she leaned over the chair and we swear to god we hoped there was a child because there was this baby seat but we couldn't see anything and he just started playing it to this child <laughs> at which point the mother starts uh, leans over as well and brings out a small drum <laughs> 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 and starts playing the drum whilst he's got this recorder thing in his nose. <laughs> and we just sat what? there staring at them do this for an and you hour. Heard, you heard it with no audio. No audio. Oh, that's that, beautiful. That, that's... <laughs> and then we never saw them again. But well, that was... I think that would be an even weirder 
twist to the story yeah. if they saw them again in Sainsbury's. Just like... <laughs> no, but that one hour kept yeah. us sane. Because <laughs> otherwise we would have shouted at each other, but no, we had the German couple to entertain us. Oh, that sounds nice. That, that, wow, that's a, good, uh, that's a good story. That is a great story. Well, even specifically on holiday, you're going to holiday. Going from holiday. From holiday. What's on the itinerary? Well, that's all I have on the itinerary. Oh my god, we've used up the itinerary. We've used up the itinerary. That's, that's grand. That Magical. is astonishing. Well, we will have to improvise with We words. could do another story time. <laughs> uh, okay, let's role play. We're in a car. No, uh, we haven't done story time in a while. How do we do I'm going to my recorder for my nose. <laughs> <laughs> That's my drum. We could, we could um, do a story about people going on holiday. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so... Words. 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 <laughs> okay, so there was this guy called Norman. And oh, no. his oh, no. wife... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Where do we go on holiday? No. no. <laughs> what about Scotland? No. no. What about Sweden? No. no. Yeah. The whole story. <laughs> That's pretty much the story. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, cool. That was good. Uh, <laughs> that, that's not how no, I was going to no, play it oh, out. I was oh, going to have it as they meet a shopkeeper called Noor. Uh, um, oh. Is he a sweet shop owner? Yeah. And, uh, he is, yeah. And, uh, oh my god. Noor. Um, <laughs> I thought it was professional. Mm. Oh, right. It was, wasn't it? Because there's already a Dr. Noor. <laughs> Too many Noors. <laughs> Spoiled a broth. <sighs> well. Yeah. <laughs> Holiday. <laughs> Holiday. If you guys could Story go to, it, like, honestly, if you could plan your perfect holiday, what would it involve? A che- it's not really a holiday. We're gonna have to cut that out, unfortunately, <laughs> Michael. Yeah. <laughs> so, Michael, what, <laughs> what do you think? You're probably gonna. Have- <sighs> so, Michael, what do you think? A buzzsaw. <laughs> Just a buzzsaw. Just a buzzsaw. What's your perfect holiday? A buzzsaw. A buzzsaw. Yeah. Cool. What about okay. you, Bacon? I would go... I don't know, like, what sort of holiday is it? Is it an adrenaline holiday? Is it a any sort of holiday you want. holiday? Any sort of holiday you want. Can we go anywhere we want? Anywhere you want. Uh, where does Cadbury's produce <laughs> Confirming them. That would be a nice <laughs> holiday. <laughs> I've been to the Cadbury's factory. Can we Three times. The duration of the holiday. Yes. Fantastic. <laughs> Rest of my life. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, in the Cadbury's chocolate factory. <laughs> om nom nom. So and two weeks. Be quite a short life. Yeah. <laughs> so two weeks. How many calories today? Well, well, it reached pretty high. Five thousand and fifty. Oh, my blood sugar's off the chart. Nine thousand percent of my recommended daily intake <laughs> and it's been my minutes. blood is 80 percent sugar <laughs> i've never felt so good oh god my heart uh, fun fact sugar doesn't actually cause heart attacks oh yay yay <laughs> i think the moral of that story eat as much sugar as you like yeah that's yes. not the moral of the story at all what about salt because on my Pringles, there was a lot of salt. Like, these are salt and vinegar Pringles, by the way. It's not just random <laughs> salt on them. From an unknown Weird source. sour cream flavour. Hmm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was talking about salt and sour flavour. <laughs> okay. I just made my words break. Screw you guys. <laughs> made your words break. <laughs> You're terrible. I think I know where I, I go. Where would, where you, would go? you go? Universal Studios in Orlando. I would just spend all the time in the Harry Potter exhibit. Oh, like that's I would that literally is, yeah. spend my the rest of my life there. <sighs> Actually, no, not the rest of my life. I go to Disney World. Did you hear what they're doing in Harry Potter World? No, they're what are on, they doing for a festive thing? You know, they've got the big model of Hogwarts yeah. that they do like the filming in because screw CGI. Well, actually, it's a really mini. What? The original set's actually really tiny, and then they just big it up using green screen. Big it up. So true on the magic. No, 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 no I went there because they have the studio thing. tours. Yeah, it's like it's pretty big. It's a pretty big, small version of Hogwarts. <laughs> it's like a one to one thousand scale. 
it still takes up a reasonable room. But anyway, yeah, they're takes... covering that in snow. That's what they're nice. doing for the holidays. Oh. I know. Oh. Well, when we visited there, we said that um, during the time that they're not using it for filming, the borrowers mm. moved in. Oh, <laughs> that'd be cool. And they actually made little rooms and stuff yeah. inside and... You know, it just brought the magic back to life a little. Do, 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 do. So then, when they're not using it for filming, the borrowers are living there. Yeah, and I just awesome. thought that's wonderful. <laughs> that's pretty neat. Pretty and they do, and they built, like, everything that's in the Harry Potter mm. films inside, which is just... How would they read the books? How did they do the moving staircases? The borrowers are really inventive. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that those staircases in Harry Potter are homicidal? Did you know they were also CGI in the films? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I thought <laughs> they were actual floating staircases. I know. They the the film. And like... on that note, <laughs> <laughs> something extravagant. Then you'll sing. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in a go on. Just leave it in the uh, so, <laughs> my, honestly, like my dream holiday would be, I, I'm gonna probably say, the Call of Duty game testing. <laughs> 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 no, I I am in wow. love with COD. Like not. But well, I prefer Sea Bass. Uh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not the most recent summer holiday, but about. Three years ago, there was one of the new Call of Duties come out, and um, who I, knows which one? There's yeah, so many, too many. But I would, out. I honestly got up at like half seven in the morning. This is during the summer holidays, or if you're American, summer vacation. That was a terrible. Do you know something weird about summer vacation? I'll yeah. tell you in a sec. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing where the story's leading. Yeah. But I, I'd be up at half seven. Play a couple to of games. To play COD. <laughs> to play COD, yeah. Plot twist. <laughs> Plot twist at about half nine. I'm going to get breakfast. Practice ballet. Uh, yeah. It's not actually about COD at all. This isn't yeah. about. Just thought I'd put that in there. It's yeah. a flight game. Yeah, yeah. so I've got. So yeah, about ballet. So yeah, yeah. yeah. And, then, and then I go for half nine ballet. No, no yeah. bre sorry, breakfast. Bre oh, breakfast. Yeah, oh. Always get them too confused. Mm. Uh, a buffet is very confusing for me to be a honest. A ballet buffet breakfast. A belly buffet breakfast, yeah. yeah. It's brilliant. But yeah, I, I then finish my breakfast, my, my ballet buffet breakfast. Of course. And jump on cod until about one o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, go and get lunch. <laughs> There's an image of you jumping up and down on the disc <laughs> oh, until God. one in the afternoon. It's like, this is fantastic! <laughs> it's so better than shiny. that trampoline we have! <laughs> And then I'll go get lunch, and then, you know, about ten minutes later, when mm. I've had lunch, I jump back on card again. <laughs> Just be jumping up and down yeah. on that for another couple of hours. I'd then be called through for dinner, and I wasn't even hungry. Then I'd be playing it through till about eleven at night. The ideal healthy lifestyle. That's me. From Daniel. The, the <laughs> Daniel plan. Yeah. Oh, I have another question. Yes. Where in the universe would you go on holiday? Ooh, actually. Anywhere in the universe. It would still be on Earth. Shh. <laughs> Stop with your logic. So, hush now. Hush now. Uh, Europa. Tatooine. <laughs> Tatooine. <laughs> Kashyyyk. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's no moon. Uh, wow. The Death Melon! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh. Anywhere in the U. But yeah, I, Nadia. Oh god. <laughs> wow. No, I reckon. Westeros. I think Kashyyyk would be a pretty like nice place to be because you know, if you find some humble Wookies, because they they humble. seem to be pretty humble. Yeah. Any e e Ewoks as well, even though they don't live on. No, they, they, they live on ta the moon. Tatooine. Tatooine. No, yeah. Tatooine is um, where Luke lives. Oh, I know, not oh, Mongolia. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, Whoa! Here uh, now. It's not Mustafa. No. Because yeah, that's the icy planet. No, that's the that furry planet. Hoth is, Hoth, is the ice Hoth is the ice planet. Yeah, one. Hoth is the ice yeah. planet. They oh, God, it's on the, the one moon layers on. Where they've got the um, little satellite dish thing. That's not Ewoks. No, that is. That's the third film. The Ewoks are in the forest. Yeah, yeah. which is a moon. Is that a moon? Yeah. I don't know. Where the satellites are. Because the satellites are supporting a thing, which... Oh, it's protecting Death Star, isn't it? What they can remember yeah. is that layers on the 
moped yeah. with some Ewoks. Not a moped! Yeah. No, it's a speed rider <laughs> yeah, speed thing. Bike but speed yeah, bike anyway, thing. if you find a nice, like, I was about to say herd. <laughs> <laughs> a <laughs> nice herd wow, of Wookiees. A that herd just, of Wookiees. That just seems wrong. They're that, people, that, don't they? I know. I mean, I know that, <laughs> Wookiees are people too. <laughs> Wookiee rights! <laughs> uh. <laughs> But yeah, it, it, yeah, if you find a nice group of them, then you know everything's gonna be pretty chill because you know they're just like, Rah! and you're like, yes, I would like the chicken egg, please. Rah! <laughs> <laughs> At which point we all start impersonating Wookies. Yeah. Rah! That wasn't really. Rah! That sounded more like a depressed. Who would you in the Star Wars universe? Who would you be? Pardon? Who would you be in the Star Wars universe? Who would I be? Because yeah, like, surely everyone wants to be Han Solo. Cause... No. That was what? instantly what popped into my mind. Yeah, I mean, come on. Yeah, Han Solo. He's, no. he's pretty awesome. Luke is just lonely. Yeah. He's just like, oh, two sons. Oh, my parents That's are dead. That's idiots. Oh, my uncle's dead. <laughs> Ruler oh, of an uh, empire, bitch. Oh, good. good <laughs> uh, strong person with the strongest force in charge of the entire galaxy. He's got a point. <laughs> I'm pleased nobody. If anybody actually considers Jar Jar Binks, then I'm, oh. I'm just gonna leave. And uh... I like the Gungans, just not Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> yeah. I, the rest, um... I like. I like the main, the boss guy of the Gungans. Yeah. <laughs> the one who yeah. just goes. <laughs> yeah, like okay. Richard Nixon, <laughs> the Richard Nixon one. The Richard Nixon one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh... <laughs> 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 yeah. Or R two D two because he's a sassy little. Oh guy. hell yeah! <laughs> yeah. R two D two. And he just always insults C three PO. Yeah, it's mm. hilarious. I just love that part on those parts. And Dem yeah. parts, man. Dem, Dem parts. parts. Dem, Dem parts. parts. Body parts. Mm. Mm. Body parts. <laughs> Whoa! Calm well, down, Hannibal. Oh, oh, um, Looking forward to J J Abrams. And Hannibal, his... go back to your corner. <laughs> Good Hannibal. <laughs> I leave their liver with some fabulous and vanilla like skin tea. But yeah, you're looking forward to J.J. Abrams reinventing the Star Wars franchise under no. the Disney regime. Oh, no. No, no, that's, no. I'm okay. looking forward to it as much as I'm looking forward to Toy Story 4. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to Toy Story 4, to be honest. I'm not. Well, he did a good job of three. Yes, yeah. but have you ever heard the phrase, quit while you're ahead? Yeah, or make new franchises, because... Come up with something you The ones are boring. Uh, I, I forget, I think it might have been on Vsauce or some some edumacational YouTube video. Yeah. And they were talking about the different types of movies, and the reboots are actually what got the most views... Yeah, that's because people are like, I liked the last one, I won't take the risk and see a new film. I'll no, they had like 80% of like more people go and see all of the reboots rather than yeah. original films. But uh, you can't make a reboot without an original film. <laughs> and you or you can just do a good making... job on the original film and you won't need a reboot. Yeah, I mean like The Avengers. <laughs> oh, that was a reboot of... um. Wait, that was an original film. Oh. Oh. Like the best films of the year are are the original ones. But I'm so glad that they did reboot the Hulk. I don't know. I with um the guy who plays the Hulk now. Yeah, yeah. Mark Gruffalo. Yeah, Gruffalo. <laughs> I always call him Mark Gruffalo. He's That's on Tumblr though. He's on Tumblr. He's on Tumblr. That's dangerous. He sounded mildly shocked. Yeah. Well, like the things I've seen on Tumblr with Mark Gruffalo in them. I don't know if he'd want to see that. Well, Taylor Swift's also on Tumblr. <laughs> or Taylor Swift. Uh, yeah, but Taylor Swift's really awesome on Tumblr anyway, which is good. Are you reenacting that scene from Flash Gordon where he puts his hand in the, uh, in Flash. the thing? Flash! <laughs> 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 Savior of the universe! <laughs> um, what are you doing? Gordon's alive! Activate the laser beam! All weapons! <laughs> It's happened again. <laughs> Ow. Oh, we're not talking about the Flash. We're talking about Flash Gordon. Flash Gordon, I told you. Flash. Oh. Ah, Savior of the universe. Flash. Saves every one of us. He'll save every one of us. 
and save every one of us. And we're going to stop for copyright reasons. <laughs> Because that will get picked up, obviously, because yeah, it's, it's perfectly perfect tuned. tuned. Yeah. Oh. Perfectly. Yeah, perfectly. perfectly. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. we've moved on from holidays to Flash. Yeah. Uh, well, to be honest, I think that with the speed that Flash runs, can he sprint over water like don't. Dash can in The Incredibles? <laughs> I'm not getting into this. Yeah. Save it for the next <laughs> superhero episode. <laughs> I'm not oh. getting into this now. <laughs> but, you know... For various reasons, we shouldn't get into this. If he oh, could... Oh, wait, guys. Yeah? Wait. There's something we need to do. What? Yeah. Why didn't Voldemort Horcrux the moon? <laughs> I mean, it just... <laughs> oh. Sorry, it has to be in every episode now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have explained this to you three times, <laughs> and... Still! The Flash could probably sprint around the Earth so far to gain enough momentum to leave the Earth's atmosphere and land on the moon. That's the point. Why didn't Voldemort Horcrux the Flash? Because they're from <laughs> completely different universes! <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ. That's no excuse. It is an excuse. No. There are no potions in the Harry Potter universe that create supersonic speed. Well, well, there should be. I mean, out of every get-out clause that there is in Harry Potter, because magic is essentially one big get-out clause, mm. there it's is not true, one however. to make you faster. Maybe the Flash just apparates. <gasps> no, he doesn't <gasps> apparate. Hot twist! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> You're a wizard, Flash. <laughs> Did you know that apparition flash. actually takes three seconds? Mm. One, Interesting. two, three. That no, didn't work. One. Two, well, it takes three. it takes work. one second to apparate, mm. and then it takes another second to actually travel where you're going, and then the third second is how long it takes what you to appear. What if the Flash place. is just wearing the boot that they use to magically transport themselves to the Quidditch tournament? Oh, that's not that's magic fine. transportation. What is that? I can't remember. It a it's a port key. It's a port key. The flipping port key. Why is There's it... an ethereal link that is. <laughs> what if the flash is that's just connected. wearing boots? There's a boot. Port the port boot port port is a port boots. key, and it has an ethereal connection to the Quidditch field. And it's not even the Quidditch field, it's the camps, like, you numbskull. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping the boot they used would have, like, a Nike logo on the side of it. Just no. <laughs> Wow. You did it! I did it! <laughs> the Pringles are out and the hand is out. Go on up it. Right. Yes! After I've shouted at James for being stupid <laughs> and my cat has jumped onto my lap. And I have eaten my Pringles. I feel this should be over. I feel this show is drawing to a close. Probably. This has been the Tangent Holidays Podcast. It's been both of Wait, those things. Wait, should we do that again? I, okay. It's been holidays on... The Tangent Podcast. You said podcast! Congratulations! Yeah. Yeah, we've come, we've come, we've developed. We're now fully prepared. We're really not prepared. <laughs> I was an entity known as Michael. I was James. And I was Sally. Probably. <laughs> not the weekend. No, wait, I was hungry for Pringles. Mm. Hi, hungry. I'm dead. Don't. Oh. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye! If Bye. we haven't lost you already. <laughs> now click on the things. All the things. All the things. Click on them. <laughs> now. Do it. Do it. Do it, do it now! <laughs> this episode's gonna keep on going, you just gotta click on them. If you don't click on it, this will never start. I can wait here as long as you can. Wait here. Wait, wait. here. I can wait. Ow. Bad cat. Bad cat. Wait. Just click on it. Please. The Tangent Show, sponsored by Pringles. Podcast! <laughs>